you may or may not have heard the phrase motivation gets you started but habit is what keeps you going uh, I completely agree with that guys we start lifting weights it really is based off motivation usually for an end goal that you have in mind whether it's short term or long term you want to get to X level of strength or size or whatever and it's the idea of eventually getting to that that makes you want to do the work in the beginning so you go to the gym you start playing with some weights you maybe uh, look up on the internet how to gain muscle how to lose fat or whatever it might be and you get started towards it uh, no matter how crappy or how awesome your plan is but then pretty quickly you realize that things aren't gonna come overnight you, you quickly realize that it's gonna take a lot of time to get to where you want to go and sometimes it takes you longer to realize that um, than for other people for for some people they find out real real soon it's gonna take them a long time to get to where they want to go for others it takes it takes months or even years till they come to terms with that but still motivation is what you get you started habits what keeps you going and I think that's why it's really important to emphasize structure, to emphasize form and technique, and also to kind of stay away from other things like gimmicks, like overemphasizing the idea of muscle confusion, and really just forgetting about anything that's promised as a quick fix, a quick solution, etc. When you're building up your physique, the reps add up over time. The volume adds up. Your workouts add up. The weeks add up. And then the months and then the years. That's what builds you the physique. And it's not necessarily going to be hitting this certain exercise from this really crazy specific angle that this guru told you to hit. Or something like that. No matter how much that motivates you, no matter how novel that idea sounds, by doing a lat pull down reverse facing the opposite direction no matter how good that might hit your lats that one workout it really is going to boil down to the habits that you create yourself excuse me to the habits that you put yourself into that get you going and constantly in the gym putting in the work so how do you go from motivation that might stem from oh this awesome article you read or your buddy gave you a compliment or you're, you're trying to get to your goal how do you stem from the motivation to routine to habit that you take part in every single workout every single week month and for years on end to get to where you really want to be honestly there really is no secret <laughs> it's crazy much like every or any other sport you could think of I mean let's take Skateboarding, for example, I'm sure that watching videos or uh, getting lessons can definitely help you. Of course it can. and It'll probably fast track you quite a bit. But unless you are practicing every day or practically every day on your craft, you're not going to be getting better. When it comes to building muscle, practicing the craft, doing the work necessary, is going to involve just hitting the muscles, you know, once, twice, maybe three times. You know, once or twice a week, each muscle, that is the craft. That is your skateboarding. You're going to be hitting your muscles once or twice a week for weeks, months, and years. Just like to become a master skateboarder or to do a, you know, a kick flip big twist, you're not going to get there by going <laughs> directly just trying the kick flip big twist. Obviously, that's not going to it's not going to work out for you that way. And it's not going to happen just from just from uh, motivation. It's really going to occur from the accumulation of steps that got you up to that point. And the simple fact is that you're going to have to practice it all the time. All the time. Practice every step to get up towards the step. So for me to be the... Uh, right here I'm 180, 285 pounds... To be, for me to be this 180 to 185 pound bodybuilder, I had to be a 178 pound bodybuilder. 
I had to be a 176 pound bodybuilder, 174 pound bodybuilder, 172 pound bodybuilder. And I had to perfect the weights involved in every step to get to that point. Perfect my execution, my form, all those things helped. But more, more, most importantly is just getting in the gym and keep going back and sticking to the basics of good form, of activating the muscles once or twice a week or maybe two and a half times a week for weeks, for months, for years. And it's the idea that instant gratification comes in many forms in this life. But to get the physique you want, you really have to look at the long term. And you have to work for that long term. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Looks like we're four for four now. Hey, what up? Hey, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Give me a little bitch. Oh, his cake.